Isn't it frustrating when you've got a problem and everybody says, don't talk to me, talk to that guy over there. And nobody wants to help you out with that problem. Well, that happens to a lot of people in the remodel space. That's what happened to a viewer that reached out to me recently on social media. And they had a problem similar to this one where their sink was beginning to separate from their countertop. And their plumber is out of town and their plumber told them, well, you should really talk to a granite guy because it's the granite guy that mounts the sink. And trouble is no granite guy is just going to come out for one sink repair. Right. And so they called a handyman, but the handyman's like, dude, if it's just siliconed in there, I'm not going to be able to help you. I don't. And this viewer does not know what to do. Sinks like this are installed in a couple of different ways. One way that I really like is to lay out the subtop, cut the hole for the sink, drop the sink into the subtop, and then run the granite or quartz over it. But if this is happening, that probably didn't happen. What happened was they probably just used some sort of a construction adhesive, liquid nails, silicone, something like that, and glued essentially this sink to the countertop, which over time that will eventually separate. Now there is such a thing as an undermount sink clip. Now what you can do is you can go to your local hardware store and see if you can find some sink clips or even climb underneath your sink right now and see if there's anything like this holding it the other side in place. Maybe one of these fell out and you can replace that. That is just a sink clip that literally screws to the subtop or sometimes they nail in, but I think usually they screw in. But either way, it attaches to the subtop and it holds the sink up. And that's something you could do for like $1.99 at the hardware store. The only other thing I might suggest is if you wanted a really temporary solution, grab some liquid nails or something like that, run that in there, and then go underneath the sink and prop it up with a two by four and leave it there until the sink dries. Especially if you're in a situation where this isn't going to be your sink forever, you're looking to do a remodel and you're just looking to put a band-aid on a bullet wound. I hope that helps.